What is going on, guys? Counter Fool here with my week two predictions. Uh, my record right now is 11 and 6, counting the th Thursday game Packers versus Bears. I predicted the Bears to win, not the Bears, the Packers to win, and they did. So I'm 11 and 6. I might be wrong on that. Uh, comment below if you, if you actually did watch the last video and counted all the predictions. I think I might be actually 10 and 7, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh,. So I'm 11 and 6. Uh, so I didn't do too bad, but I didn't do the greatest that I could have. Uh, Arizona winning that game. Jets kind of shitting on the Bills, sadly. Uh, Redskins winning, which if you saw my week one thought videos, I wasn't really surprised by the Redskins winning that game. The Saints were missing a lot of their secondary keys. I want to see if RG3 could be you know, like he was last week, in this week two, so, we're just gonna hop right into the week two predictions, first game is the, I'm just going in random order, so, don't, don't get prick, uh, picky about it, and be like, oh, why didn't you do, whatever, it doesn't matter, I'm picking the games, and, so that's, that's all it is, uh, Buccaneers versus Giants, Buccaneers coming off a very surprising win with the Panthers, against the Panthers, uh, Loud, worst rush defense in the league last year. Allowed 10 rushing yards total and only 10 points. It seems like they're turning turning over the page over in uh, Tampa Bay. Versus the Giants, who lost in a surprising game to the Cowboys. Uh, Giants run game. They're secondary. Their defense is not like it was last year or the year before. So I'm going to go with an upset pick here. And I'm going to say the Buccaneers win. I know they played Carolina. Carolina doesn't really have any weapons, but Cam Newton has a rushing ability, and they only held them to ten total rushing yards. Uh, it, I, it would be I want to see them how they do against Cruz and Knicks. Eli can get the ball to Cruz and Knicks, and Cruz does not drop the ball as much as he did. I think the Giants would win the game, but I'm going to go based off the Buccaneers the way they played last week and how how bad the Giants' defense is. In, in play. It might look on defense, but they're pretty banged up in that secondary, and the linebackers are, are pretty injured too, so I think the Buccaneers come away with a surprising win, just because the Giants are pretty injured on defense, and the Buccaneers seem pretty better on defense this year as well, so I said it's going to be a close game. I won't be surprised the Giants win. I just went surprise pick, because I like what I saw from the Buccaneers. Next game, Texans versus Jaguars. Uh, I'm going to say the Texans win this game, but do not be surprised if the Jaguars sneak away with this win. Uh, they almost snuck away with the win last week, but they lost in overtime. Blaine Gabbert looks like the quarterback he did in preseason. It's going to be nice to see how he goes against a division rival with a top-five defense. So it would be nice to see you just, and Marcus Jones Drew is back into it. So that's a nice little addition to that offense that looked pretty pretty good last week but I say Texans win it uh, next game we have the in-state rivalry Bengals and Browns Browns lost by one point against the Eagles a really really surprising outcome no matter what they almost won that game Bengals on the other hand they got annihilated by the Ravens Joe Flacco making a case for him being an elite quarterback uh, I'm going to say the Bengals take this one because they overall are the better team. They lost uh, Thomas Howard for the season, I think, to a 20 ACL. Uh, the Browns will be out with, without Joe Hayden, so that's a big, big hit on their pass defense and their run defense, too, because really, if they're going to get passed all over the game, they're going to get ran all over play action. It's going to be... The Bengals are going to win this by big. Unless, you know, the Browns somehow just be like, like last week, but it, it, you gotta see for, for that to be, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought here now. So yeah, Bengals win it. It's, I'm, I'm 100% sure the Bengals win this. Only way to see the Browns win this game is if Brandon Whedon happens to have a Joe Flacco type of game, which I doubt he will. Uh, next game, we have Bills versus Chiefs. Both teams got blown out. Uh, Chiefs didn't have Tom Bahali, Brendan Flowers. They didn't have 
Uh, I'm pretty sure they actually that's who they did, but that's big components on their defense. Uh, we lost we lost Fred Jackson for about a month. Dave Nelson out for the year. CJ Spiller coming off probably the best game of any player last week. Besides Matt Ryan, I would say. I want. I'm gonna say the Bills win this game. Now, I don't. He might be like, oh, he's biased. I just have a feeling that the Chiefs, after coming that game, they're motivated to play. But the question is, how healthy is that defense going to be coming in? Brandon Flowers can play, but can he handle Stevie Johnson? Can he handle how he cuts? It, it just depends how. This game definitely depends on how healthy that Chiefs defense is. They have, they have a very sound offense. They didn't show up last week, but Jamal Charles, Peyton Hillis, Dwayne Bowe, they have a lot of people with great potential that they need they need to work up to make that offense overall better. So I'm going to go with the Bills on this game. I wouldn't be surprised if they lose, really. The Chiefs are a very underrated team. As you saw in my uh, preseason predictions, I, I thought Chiefs win the division. So this game will be a doozy. It just depends... Like I said, how team, both teams are healthy. If you know they lose a key player, it can change the game completely for e- either side of the field. So it's really hard. It's really hard game to predict. But the Chiefs do have the better team. But they, they like I said, they are injured. They're not 100 percent healthy. So it's gonna be a game, a really hard game to predict. Next game we have the Ravens, who completely destroyed the Bengals. Probably the third best team in that division. And then the Eagles, who almost lost to the Browns. They won by one point. Michael Vick having a terrible game. Uh, it, I don't people. I don't know how to predict this game. I really don't. It, can Michael Vick kind of step his game up? Or is he going to be worse than last week? Uh, is Macklin and Deshaun Jackson going to play? How is Flacco going to come off of the performance? There's a lot of questions surrounding this game. But I'm going to go with the Ravens because... They have Ladarius Webb. They have Ray Lewis. They have Halodi Nada. They have the better defense. They have Ray Rice. I just feel the Ravens win this game because they have, they have pure stardom on their team. Yeah, the Eagles, they have Namdi. They have uh, Vic, McCoy. They have Jeremy Macklin, who's poised for a breakout season. I just feel the Ravens are the tougher team and will... They, they'll know their struggles, they'll come on at halftime and make it look like the Bengals game. I just feel, you know, they do have, the Eagles are better offense than the Bengals. They have more weapons, but I just feel like the Ravens are, are set for this. And I think they're prepared, so I think the Ravens win this game. And do not be surprised if the Eagles win this game in a blowout. Uh, it just depends on how Flacco plays. If they're going to feed the ball to Ray Rice. If Namdi can shut down whoever he's covering, there's a lot of questions around this game. Vikings versus Colts. Uh, Vikings coming off a OT win against the Jaguars. Almost lost that game. Uh, Ponder looked really good in the two-minute drill and leading his team to victory. AP two touchdown performance. Looks like he'll be full stride this week. You got the Colts, who you know. They got blown out, but they played better than the po- the scoreboard show. Like Reggie Wayne had a very nice game. Luck didn't have a great game, but I think he comes back this week, and I think the Colts win this game. And they win this game because Andrew Luck and Reggie Wayne connection and Kobe Fleener could throw in. The Vikings, I don't know. It's I want to AP scored two touchdowns last week, but are they willing to give him a full workload again this week? Uh, also, actually, actually, let me change my prediction here. I'm going to say the Col- Vikings win because I forgot Rasheed Mathis won't play. And when Rasheed Mathis was out, they had trouble trouble uh, passing the run. Uh, wow, rushing the passer, I should say. So the Vikings do not have a great offensive line. They're working on it and that. Uh, but I think the Vikings actually win this game. They have Percy Harvin and Adrian Peterson. That's too much for the handle. And Pondu is a mobile quarterback. Uh, the defense line is pretty nice. Uh, he might pick on that. Luck might pick on that secondary, but I think the Vikings win it because of Adrian Peterson and the lack of pass rush from the Colts. Unless 
Dwight Freeney just happens to go beast mode, but missing they're gonna miss Rasheed Mathis. So instead of picking the Colts, I'm picking the Vikings. Uh, if, the, if the Colts get their pass rush going, I think they win the game because that offensive line for the Vikings is not the greatest. Either is the Colts. So Jared Allen, Jared Allen might have a nice game. So definitely offensive line is key in this game. Next game we have the Raiders versus Dolphins. Probably the most, I probably least watched game I would say Raiders versus Dolphins. Both teams lost. I'm going to say the Raiders win this game. The, the Dolphins are just straight terrible. Uh, I was pretty surprised Houston only won by 20 the way that the Dolphins started playing. I just think the Raiders win this. I think they come back from that loss against the Chargers, which it was a really close game, but it, they, they still lost the game. Darren McFadden, 13 catches. It seems like he might have a healthy couple games here. Uh, just for the Raiders to win it, they just got to score that's all they gotta do make the Dolphins throw the ball Tannehill's a young raw quarterback and he's gonna make mistakes um, they lost they lost Rod Bartel their best corner so it it's an iffy it's an iffy game I just say the Raiders win it because Darren McFadden pretty much the only ways I see the Dolphins winning this game if, if they their defense cause turnovers and they have the better turnover ratio they have the better you know the positive part of the turnover ratio and they make the Raiders pass and eliminate Darren McFadden from the game plan, which is pretty impossible because he had 13 catches last game. So it's going to be a tough game for the Dolphins. I say the Raiders win this one, and it's, I don't know. Dolphins probably will be the worst team. I don't want to say the worst team in the league yet. It's only week two. So I have the Raiders winning this one. Next game, Saints-Panthers. I think the Saints win it. Drew Brees knows... Hey, if we're with, without Jabari Greer, we're going to have to score. They did not do that. They did in the last game, but the one interception Drew B's thrown was was pretty bad. He completely overthrew his receiver in that, and I think he comes back and against the division opponent and blows the Panthers out. Uh, it, the Panthers did not look good, look good at all last week. They couldn't run on the top, the worst rush defense in the league. They only got 10 total rushing yards. So I think the Saints, if they have Jabari Greer, it'll be a blowout. If not, it might be a close game. But I, I, I think the Saints win it 100%. Uh, next game, Pan, uh, Patriots-Cardinals. John Skelton injured, Tom Brady. Patriots win the simple. There's nothing really to talk about this game. There's no way the Cardinals can win it. They, I mean, they can, but they beat the Seahawks. But I think the Patriots are a better offense. And I don't think Arizona is uh, a good matchup for that offense. That offense is too deadly for them. They really have nobody covered both tight ends. Yeah, they have Adrian Wilson and Kerry Rhodes, but they they need you know need to keep back there because Brandon Lloyd being the deep threat. Uh, next game we have Redskins Rams. Uh, Got to hurry this up really quick here. Uh, I'm going to say Redsk Redskins win this, but that's because of the defense. I don't think RG3 I think RG3 doesn't have the game he had last week. He turned the ball over a couple times. But the Redskins defense win the game. Cowboys Seahawks. Seahawks lost to Arizona last week. Cowboys beat the Giants, the defending Super Bowl champions. I take the Cowboys. Their secondary is too good. Uh, they showed it last week. You know, they have three solid corners. I think the Cowboys win this one. Titans Chargers. Uh, Chris Johnson, terrible game last week. I think Chargers win this game. Jake Lockard's going in the game injured. Kenny Bricks making his return. But he's not going to play a amount of snaps. But what we saw with MJD and AP, he might end up having a beast game. So, But I think Chargers win this based on they're better on both sides of the ball at the moment. Jets-Steelers. Steelers are missing Jerome Harrison, Troy Palo. Jets are missing Dustin Keller, Brian Howard, I think. Brian Thomas and Darrell Rivas. I think the Steelers win this because they have the better offense. I know they, the Jets scored. If they can do it against the Bills and get 24 points off turnovers, I think they win the game, but the Steelers have the better talent on offense at the moment. Uh, next game, Lions 49ers at the uh, Sunday night game. 49ers win this game. Lions secondary is so banged up, they're in their fourth and fifth stringers. Uh, they almost lost to the Rams. I think the 49ers just annihilate the Lions, and Matthew Stafford has another bad game. Uh... Last game, Falcons-Broncos. 
Falcons definitely going against a better secondary, uh, better offense. Well, not I don't want to say better offense yet, but the better quarterback. Uh, I feel the Falcons win this one. I think Matt Ryan is he's he's got momentum. If Michael Turner can get going, I think they'll win this game. If not, I think it's a fair chance for the Broncos. They are missing Brett Grimes, who got injured out for the season. I'm gonna say it's a close game, but I'm gonna say the Falcons win it because they have a two of the they have two top five receivers. They have Tony Gonzalez, they have Jacuzzi Rogers, they have Matt Ryan, who was the best quarterback last week. So I think the Falcons win it, but it's gonna be a close game and I would not be surprised if the Broncos win. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. I know you're on a black screen right now, so hurry up really quick here. All the links are below. Uh my record will be below if you missed that in the beginning of the video. Follow me on Twitter. Uh and that is it. Comment below on any of your thoughts on these picks. And I hope you enjoyed it. Be on lookout Monday for my week two thoughts. I'll be doing those every Monday. So there's no videos on Sundays because it's football and I don't really, you know. So no no videos on Sunday. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed.